Hi guys, it's Paula from Alter Girl Beauty and I'm back talking some more about the MAC Spring Color Forecast Collection. This time I'm going to talk about uh, the number two part of the collection which happens to be the coral. Now this is a much warmer section than the pink lavender that I talked about previously. Some of the things that are in this one, again, we have another blush with another gradient and it's warmer definitely starting off with a yellowish and working its way down into a coral yellowish coral orangish color now again these can definitely be used as a highlighting color or definitely if you use a bronzer this can take some of the place of that in warming your face up now this on me is a little too warm just from the standpoint that I have real cool undertones on underneath my freckles so but for people with warmer or darker complexions this would definitely warm it up some of the eyeshadows that I've gotten in this collection one is called let me open that for you this one is called straw harvest and it's kind of a yellowish beigeish color but it has a nice tone to it that when it is spread out it's not too yellowish or too um, too brownish it has a nice tone to it this one is called perky and it's kind of a on the pinker side of coral actually it's not real orangey it's more of a light peach color then some of the lipsticks that I have, this first one is called Victorian. And as you can see, it is like a peachy color, but it definitely has a warm yellowish tone to it. So when you're thinking of coral, this of course is very much like a true coral that you're going to put on. But it is a little light. It's not like a dark red coral. This one is called Fresh Salmon. And this is like a true pinkish coral salmon color. It's a little oranger than the one that we just looked at. And it's a little bit cooler than that. But in this, it looks rather warm against my pale skin. But when you do a comparison between the two, you can see that the Victorian is a little lighter and a little more yellow than the salmon. On to top those two there is a lip glass and it goes with it really well this one is called kumquat which if you know what a kumquat is smaller than an orange so of course this is very orangey color the way that they describe this kumquat is they call it a frosty tangerine okay you can't get much clearer than that it's orange like a tangerine with a definite glossy frost to it with the doe foot applicator and this one also comes with a nail lacquer and they call this nail lacquer Malibu peach it's a bright creamy tangerine is the way they describe it now when you look at it you think it's gonna be like a bright orange and it's not it's actually a very softer corally color softer peach color uh, more along of, of a pastel than like a bright orange neon color. I had uh, my good friend put it on before she went down to Miami this weekend. She wanted to be bright for Miami. And she actually was surprised that it was a softer color than what she expected. So this will make a great spring toe color. And in fact, you could rock it on your on your fingernails too. It's, it's not too bright um, for regular wear. So those are some of the things that come in the MAC Spring Color Forecast 2, which is coral. Again, let me talk about some price points before we go anywhere. This blush is in ripe peach, which is described as a light coral, and it is $25. The nail lacquer is $12. The lipsticks, $14. The lip glass is also $14. And the eyeshadows are $14.50 for the singles. So that's what I have for the coral section of the Spring Color Forecast. This is number two. I'll be back in just a minute with 
the third section of the collection. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.